what's up beautiful people it's Indarama. welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video and it's titled filipina roasts modern western women for acting like it's difficult to cook for their man mm, okay i'm excited to check this one out here what she's gotta say let's check it out and have you not noticed that a lot of your people in the western world they go to the philippines to find us filipina yep that's right and you know what i discovered in the western world especially western women cooking for their husband is a big deal and apparently it's hard to do but for us filipina cooking is hmm. nothing hey what's going on good people this is tori with dating right and in this video, I'm proud to announce that we finally have a Filipino woman pushing back against the comments that's been made against black men looking to find wives in other countries. But before we get into the video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below. I will definitely appreciate it. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, she's cooking for you every day because she wants to get that green card. Melissa, my friend, even if we don't cook every day, we can still get green card. Oh, man. You can tell she was waiting to get the green card <laughs> coming off. I bet she's so sick of people <laughs> talking about this green card. Oh, they just want a green card. And I always said that, that they can easily just get a green card or apply for a visa and so I never got that part of the argument. And have you not noticed that a lot of your people in the Western world, they go to the Philippines to find us Filipina? Yep, that's right. And you know what I discovered in the Western world, especially Western women? Cooking for their husband is a big deal and apparently it's hard to do. But for us Filipina, cooking is mm. nothing. Cooking is super easy thing to do. We can cook everything and heck we can even cook our husband if they cheat on us. And I know that a lot of girls here in the western world they cook their husband microwavable food. If not McDonald's and french fries. That's all. I can't believe we're talking about cooking now. I'm not gonna get off the subject. We're gonna come back to this video but let me show you this little clip that's going viral also of the woman can't even have a meal ready for this guy when he come home. This is why American women are losing men in this country just by the simple things that they used to do. What's the big deal with just cooking for a guy? But check this video out right here because it definitely relates. So you mean to tell me I just pulled a 13 hour shift and I ain't got no food to come home to? Huh? Why you need to get something on your way home? Why you got to for your ready to be cooking? Look, I just pulled a 13 hour shift. You being my wife, I pay all the bills in here. All the dishes clean, your clothes clean. Wait, what? You, you don't you don't fix me no lunch for my, for, for my job. Wow. You eat? You work from home. Okay. I, I can't come home to a full course this meal. Is that I had from last night. But I'm saying I, I can't come home to a Why full course you? meal. What what we married for? What we married for? I'm not your mama. I'm your wife. Your dishes clean, your clothes clean, your clothes. You always got to clean your clothes when you go to work, don't you? Can you stop recording me? I can't come home to a full course meal. Working all these long goddamn hours, I can't come home to a full course meal. Huh? I just knew I was gonna come home and have, have some food on the goddamn stove. Hmm. And now you playing, man. You playing. You, you playing. On your way home. You well, you playing. What the hell we get married for? You been doing for like two or three months, man. What is it? I can't get no food when I come to the house. Yes, people. Can you guys believe that? We are talking about something as simple as cooking food for your man. That's the number one way to his heart. This man is going to need food. If a woman says cooking is slavery, I'm not your mama, so I shouldn't have to cook for you. Then you need to tell her I'm not your daddy and I shouldn't have to pay all the bills and protect you from physical harm for any other man or animal. That's slavery. 
you're relieved of your duty and I'm relieved of mine. Now, we all know some of these American women was raised the right way. They know how they, they, they grew up in a house where their grandmother or they saw their mother cook and clean and just make things easier for their spouse or their husband. There are a lot of women out there who definitely keep a clean house and a hot meal on the stove. But for these other women out there that don't even know how to do that part, I don't think they should be in relationships. I don't think they should be married. There are so many like those ready-made meals places. You know, I think a lot of the, um, I see a lot of guys in the gym, they have those meals already prepped and ready to go. You can order those for up to a week or two and just have that food in there ready for them. And when he get home, you can just put it on a plate, warm it up and just give it to him. Those meals are delicious. I don't see what the big fuss is about cooking for your guy. It's like women in our community, they think it's offensive just to smile at a man walking down the street. You know what I mean? It's like this stuff is, this should be regular life skills stuff that women are bringing to the table, especially the cooking. And look, let's not act like it's just all about cooking. A lot of these guys, they like the fact that not only does she cook and or bring him his plate, a lot of women in those countries and other countries, they won't even start eating until you eat. They won't even take a bite of the food until you do. And when they get through with your plate and, and when you get through eating, they get up and take your plate, put it away or whatever. I think she's mostly talking about cooking, but it's a little bit deeper than cooking. It's just the way that a, a woman will make you feel just serving you. And I don't say serve as she's a servant to him, but she will honor you. Some women will cater to you, bring your drink, make sure you got a napkin, make sure. I'm just talking about the little things, you know what I mean? And also when you get through eating, hey, you want some dessert, you know, it's just all about that catering to her man. Like Destiny Child's song that they were talking about, the song that they tried to get canceled, catering to your man apparently is an issue in this country. Now look, now we're not gonna skip over the part that she says that even if the man cheats, they still cooking for him. It, uh, I get what she's saying about that because I'm one too who I don't believe that women should necessarily break up with their guy if he cheats on them. You know what I mean? I, I think there's levels of disrespect, but I'm no longer the type of guy that's going to sit here and be like, oh, you know, the guy cheated, so break break up your happy home. Go divorce your husband. No, I, I'm not even going to get into it now. But. Okay, let's even talk about this for a moment is how lots of these modern women see cooking as chore and to them they don't owe their husband anything or they don't owe their man anything as long as they are they've gained the title of being a wife th there is no need or they don't see no need to cook for their husband to cook for their man these women don't even know that there is a saying that goes the way to the way to a man's heart is to is food you can't even do the basic thing basic need of a man cooking how is it that difficult to cook for a man imagine your husband step out of the house or your man steps out of the house he's been out working you can't even cook She's out here talking about how she cleaned, she washed his clothes. Our cooking, when it's back from the office or back from work, isn't he supposed to eat? I don't even understand the mindset of lots of these modern women. It just don't make sense. Fun fact is lots of people enjoy cooking. I bet these people, are, these are the kind of people that hop from one fast food restaurant from one place to the other. But to do the homely thing, a homely thing for your man, you just can't do it. It just don't make sense. It's so sad that lots of people see cooking as chore that I just don't get. And yet they say, why, why do I need to cook for the man? He can as well order in or order gets by takeout. Does that even make sense? Why would he do other takeout when he has got a woman in the house? I mean, if he's alone, he's single, it's a different case. But lots of people are not even ready to sacrifice in their family. They're not ready to meet their partner in the middle. Some people don't even know what it entails to be married 
or don't even know the basics of marriage just don't make sense and yes they come after the, the the passport bro you're not ready to give the man what they want i mean you don't expect them to hang around and just keep begging you i mean it's even alarming that a, the man would have to come back home to tell his wife to cook that goes to show that these people are not ready yet they come after the uh, ladies say the the men the passport bro are coming after this lady so these ladies will leave them immediately they have their green green card or whatever or they are just there for a green card no most of these ladies are homely they're not ready to put up with all of the nonsense that lots of you do or lots of these western women do they know how to take care of the family i mean that they were taught to take care of the family or take care of their home just don't make sense but yeah let's go on break up your happy home go divorce your husband no I, i'm not even gonna get into it now but i don't go for that but i like the fact that she said hey if he got that doing something he got no business she's still gonna cook for him look like a lot of these modern women are gonna learn because i don't see this as a trend that's gonna slow down I see this as a trend that's going to keep mm -hmm. moving forward. Men are getting their passports and going outside the country like never before. Never before have I seen such an exodus of men going outside of the country. And I think it's really only going to get worse. It's only going to continue to go that way. Women are online talk, talking junk to men like, yeah, y'all go. We ain't want y'all no way. So that's what men are doing. And the more I think about it, I honestly think it may be a wrap. It's a lot of the male coaches are encouraging men to just go outside of the country versus um, all these dating coaches online trying to tell guys how to have a game, how to do this. You got to, you know, do this with a woman. You got to be all alpha. and all. No, man, you ain't got to go through none of that. It's pretty much a fail safe just to go, you know, outside of the country, I guess, and find you a submissive woman because that's apparently where they are. And I guess they're loving American men better. It's definitely a trend that's going to keep going because there, there's more and more content creators doing things, encouraging men to go get their passport um, overseas and don't even date American women no more. So this is something that's not going to stop. So definitely get your passport, gentlemen. Don't pay attention to none of these shaming tactics. Live your life on your own terms. That's all I got in this video. You guys let me know what you think down below and I will see you in the next video. Is the fact that these same Western ladies who don't want to take care of their home, who don't want to do anything for their husband, will still come out yet to complain and say the men are leaving them and going for going after we other women traditional women who want to be traditional saying that those women who want to be traditional are being slaves or turning themselves to be slaves to their husbands no they are not being slaves or enslaved to their husbands that is just service being a traditional woman mean means they are there to support the man i mean these people don't even know what support is to them, as long as you're doing the homely thing or your wife or your traditional wife and you're doing the homely thing, then you are, you are considered to be slaving for your husband or slaving yourself for a man. They don't even know what support is. You got, I mean, you got a man who pays the bill, who does the manly things at home and he, he's got a woman in the house and she's not ready to do the womanly thing in the house what do you expect he's, he's doing his own part and you're not ready to do your own part do you expect him to be happy i mean you as a woman if you've got a man and you're doing the womanly thing and the man is not doing the manly thing how would you feel i mean you would react a different way you up and leave and go for the person who is ready to do the manly thing and you expect the man who is doing a manly thing to not get angry or get upset that he's got a woman that is not ready to do the womanly thing or the wife duties at home especially when he's married to you or, or especially when the both of you are married just don't make sense 
yet they come out here to attack these women to say oh they are only there for the green card they for the passport fun fact is these women never even requested for these men these men are the ones coming after them and you know what it what it says like minds attract masculine men going for the feminine women because the ones they have the strong independent women are men and these men love women they want to take care of their women so you don't expect them to sit and wait for the mrs strong independent woman that don't need no man they don't they need a woman but of course these strong independent women don't need a man but the minute the men get up and leave get their passports to leave to go to go look for, look for the women who want to be treated as like women then they get angry don't come for the ladies don't come for them don't come for the men except you want to get your act right then you know what to do and these women should stop feeding off the nonsense that the modern feminists are feeding because those are your lies and bs fix your home but yeah i'm sure tons of people have got different opinion regarding this and i really love your honest contribution to this you can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video